Salatu wa salamu ala nabiyyina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa azwajihi ajma'in Amma ba'at fa'awdhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wahlul uqdatam min lisani yafqahu qawli Rabbi zidni ilman ajma'in inshallah may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Nice to see you, brothers and sisters. Today we'll learn uh, lesson number 21, Adarsu al Hadiya al Shurun. Now, in this lesson, we are learning form 6. Huh? Again, you will notice and observe the beauty of Dr. Saab's method. Uh, that he brings in this lesson everything that pertains with form 6. The dialogue, you will see, it's form 6. Uh, uh, how beautifully he arranges the dialogue, which is his expertise and mastery uh, over the language, you know. And he creates everything that will help us to understand form 6, inshallah. Now every form from 2 onwards, brothers and sisters, has some speciality. This form has two things which are worth noting. And I will go to the key to start, brothers and sisters, to give you an idea. I'm not going to go in detail because we did this in the early stages of our study. So you have some idea 
تفاعل بدن سسترز يا تفاعل نو كسرة تفاعل يا تفاعل نو كسرة and how will you make أمر تفاعل that's all تفاعل only when you will make a some file you will say متفاعي otherwise there is no كسرة what is the master تفاعل and I have put here you know it is باب تفاعل but I say باب تكاثر for simplicity because this verse of the Quran is very popular, very important. Al-Hakumut Takathuru. See, so that Takathuru we are familiar with. So I always try to connect something with some easy thing to remind me. Form 5, I jokingly called Bab Tabathum. You know, it strikes you right away. And this, you can say Bab Takathur. It will bring back to you that this is form six, you know. Now, we can form Madi, Mudarya, Amar, Mastar, Isam, Fayal, Isam, Maful, Isam, Makan, everything with ease, inshallah. So I want to go to page number 90 in key, brothers and sisters. Last paragraph. Sister Abir. This bab denotes... Can you read it? And underline that, brother. That's very important. Page number 90. Last paragraph. Oh, okay. huh? Highlight it. This is to be highlighted. Huh? Very important. Huh? This Bab denotes, among other things, you know, there are other things in the Bab. There are other things in all forms. And there are some special things also. So, this bab, among other things, denotes the following. Huh? What is it, brothers and sisters? Denotes the following. What is it? Number one? Musharika. What do you call it in English? Reciprocal. Huh? Al Musharakatu. What is this Al Musharakatu? Participation. What is it? Ism. No. Master. From form? From form three. Sharaka yushariku. To participate. So, Sister Abir, even form three, remember? Form three, you had asked me once. That is also reciprocal. Means the action takes place between people. Okay? So, Sa'ala, he asked. Are you with me? Sa'ala, he asked. Okay. Tasa'ala nasu. The people asked each other. You know how the meaning changes? The people asked each other. An nasu. So the file becomes plural. This is something to be observed. Tasa'ala nasu. Got the idea? The people asked one another. Ta'avana nasu. Ta'avana. To cooperate with each other. Are you with me? So this is, this signifies al-musharaka. Means, uh, there is a reciprocal action between people. They participate with each other. They ask each other. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Ta'avana nasu. People helped one another cooperated okay number two what is the speciality uh, of this verb form another speciality is pretended action means you feign something which is not there what is in Arabic is the haru ma laisa fil batani what is the meaning of batan? Interior. Batan means interior. Izharu ma laisa fil batan. You demonstrate, you put up a show, you act 
what is not in the reality, not, what is not inside. Huh? Okay. Tama, tama, tama. What is it, brothers and sisters? Tama. He pretended that he was blind. Huh? He pretended to be blind. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Tama. Mudarya. Yatama. Are you with me? Inshallah. So, this is the thing to be noted that in this bab, there is a reciprocal action and there is a pretension. That you pretend something and inside it is not there, you know. You pretend that you are sick and actually you are not sick. So this thing has to be noted. Now we, as usual, we go to the verbs. First we go to the verbs. What is the page number, Sister Hafsa? 180. 180. Page number 180, brothers and sisters. Tanawala. Very important verb, brothers and sisters. Tanawala. What is the meaning of Tanawala? Akhaza. Akhaza. It also means eat. The way you use it, it can mean eat also. Eating. Tanawulul taami. Eating of the food. Tanawulul taami. What did I say, brothers and sisters? Tanawulut ta'ami, eating of the food. Huh? So tanawala means akhaza, and also it can mean to eat. Huh? What will be the mudarya? Yatanawalu. Amar? Tanawal. Master? Tanawulun. Yes, sister Naima. Yes. Huh? You can use it. You see, when you say tanawulut ta'ami, it's very eloquent. The person in the street will not use this kind of a expression. Okay. Huh? It's very eloquent. Huh? You will see. You will observe this verb, how it is used, brothers and sisters. And then ta'awana, here, brother Muhammad, it's reciprocal. When you say ta'awana, it means you cooperate with each other. Otherwise, you will not use this verb. Okay? Ya ta'awanu, ta'awan, and ta'awunun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? You will have to practice. Huh? Inshallah, you will write down at home properly. Huh? Right now, you have come to the level where you can mentally... Uh, do madi mudare amar master without any difficulty you can do it but I will urge you to write it at home that will make you even more strong tasa ala amma yatasa aluna what is that brother that is form six and you never knew that before huh? okay tasa ala to ask each other. Yatasa alu. Okay, brother and sister. Yatasa alu. Yatasa alani. Yatasa aluna. Amma yatasa aluna. What are these people asking each other for? About what they are asking each other? That's the meaning asking each other. You know? Fine, brother and sisters. Tasha jara. Yatasha Jaru. Amar Tasha Jar. And Master Tasha Jurun. Very simple. If you think about it, it's very simple. Uh, any, anything that you missed? The, to quarrel. Quarrel. Okay? To quarrel. Tasha huh? Jaru. To fight. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. 
Now, brothers and sisters, so tasha jara means to quarrel. Now you quarrel with somebody. Are you with me? Fine. Now comes the next verb. Tabaka. Brother Muhammad, what is tabaka? You pretend. See? It becomes very clear. Pretend what? To cry. To cry. <laughs> You're really pretending to cry. You're not hurt. You know. So tabaka, ya tabaka, and then tabaka without ya. Got the idea? What will be the master? Tabakin. Now you know how we got the master. Shall I explain you one more time? I will explain you one more time. Huh? Inshallah. Hmm. Master, brother, sister, from form 5. If the verb is nakis, it will become taba ku yun. Are you with me? Taba ku yun. Fine, brother. Now there is a, there is a ya, and before it there is a dhamma. Ya and dhamma are not compatible. So you give it a kasra. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now we have a, we have a, Tasra before ya. Mankus. Huh? So I have to drop this and I have to drop this. Okay? So what shall I do? I give a compensatory kasra. So what is the result now? Tabakin. Huh? You should have a clear-cut idea now, inshallah. Huh? Taba. Okay. You should have a clear-cut idea about this, inshallah. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? How did you arrive at Taba Kin, which was originally Taba Kuyun, huh? Tafa Ulun, Taka Suru, huh? Taka Surun. Now the next one is Ta'ama. See Brother Muhammad? Ta'ama. He pretended to be blind. So the meaning will become very clear from the verb when you look at it. There is nothing confusing here. All very clear. The next one, brothers and sisters. Ta'ama. Ya ta'ama. Ta'ama and then Ta'amin. Alhamdulillah. Brother, I want you to understand this uh, method of Nakis verbs so that when you stand up and teach, inshallah, you'll explain to the student in a very nice way and becomes very clear. Otherwise, the student is at loss. How does all these changes take place? Doesn't make sense unless you explain it properly, inshallah. Next one, number four, brother. Hati asma al fa'ilina min afwal al atiyati. Now we have to make ism file. Tafa'ala. What is the meaning of tafa'ala? To be optimistic. Hmm? What is the mudariya? Yatafa aluf. And what will be the ism fire? Mutafa i. First time the kasra will come. Huh? Optimistic. Huh? Tasha ama. It is opposite of tafa ala. So what will be the meaning? Pessimistic. Huh? Tasha ama is pessimistic. Okay. Yatasha amu. And then mutasha imun. Huh? 
make sure you write properly huh? okay mukta fa as you say e the hamza got a chair of ya got the idea and muta sha imun hamza got a kursi of ya huh? with a kasra taavana yataavanu mutaa vinu huh? okay min maani bab tafala al musharakatu participation nahu taawanat tulabu what is the meaning of taawanat tulabu they help each other the students help each other cooperated with each other tasafahan nasu what is the meaning of tasafahan nasu the people shook hands okay with each other wa minha and from it what is it izharu ma laysa fil batani izhar means showing demonstrating what is not in hakikat in reality in interior huh? na tamarad talibu what is the meaning of tamarad talibu by the muhammad the student pretended to be sick so it's very clear brother ai azhar al marada he demonstrated a sickness azhar al marada wa laysa bihi maradun and he does has no sickness he has no sickness got the idea brothers and sisters that's it now we go to the main lesson now my sister you will take out your pencil highlighters you will watch for what will you watch for mahdi mudarya ammar master ism fail ism maful ism makan ism zaman everything that is connected with form 6 huh? inshallah al mudarris he is asking the students amma tatasaluna ya ikhwan ha they are in front antum amma tatasaluna what are you asking each other what will be the meaning brother what are you asking each other ha huh? okay where is the file wow wow antum ha huh? do you see the file is a plural Huh? that is also to be observed huh? when the file is plural it means it's a reciprocal action okay natasa alu what will be the meaning of natasa alu we are asking each other huh? not we are asking we are asking each other huh? okay because if you say we are asking then it will be sister manas ha huh? nasalu are you with me sala yasalu nasalu but when you say natasalu means we are asking each other are you with me madam sisters so tatasalu na is mudarya and natasalu is also mudarya huh? anil imtihani no other than sisters i want you to underline imtihani what is after that kaifa yakun translation we are asking each other about the imtihan how will it be are you okay now later on we are going to learn about badal ha huh? and mubdal minhu here kaifa yakunu what is kaifa yakunu it's a jumla 
Failure. What is it? Chumla failure. Huh? Kana yakunu. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Right. Kaifa yakunu. Now this jumla failure, the whole of it, are you with me? Underline it. Circle it. Whole of this jumla failure is a badal for imtihan. As I said before, brothers and sisters, this lesson has got a lot of things. And please remember, if you don't understand 100%, don't worry. It will make a lot of sense if you will revise it again and again. Three times, four times, when you will revise it and ponder over it, it will make a lot of sense. Ishtimal. Ishtimal. We are going to learn later on, Sister Menas. But no, don't worry about it. We are going to learn. That is coming at the end of the lesson. Huh? Uh, it's something that we'll have to understand, inshallah. So, kaifa yakunu is a sentence which is coming as a badal for al-imtihan. Just make a note of it and later on, inshallah, ponder over it and it will be very clear. Because further explanation is coming at the end of the lesson. Are you with me? So, al-imtihan is mubdal minhu. Okay, now, another thing to remember, the badal can be a whole sentence. What is it? Badal can be a whole sentence, and mubdal minhu can be one word. It is possible. Huh? So, al-imtihan is one word. Al-imtihan is one word. Huh? And the badal is whole sentence. Huh? Okay. Now, brother and sister, this is very advanced Arabic. This is the Arabic of MA or higher than MA, you know, especially the Badal business. So, inshallah, we'll study it and try to digest it as much as we can. Okay, fine. Again, Hamza has come. Hamza, Hamza al Istifam. What is this, brothers and sisters? Two things are there. And we are separating them. Are you with me? That we learn in book two, lesson number two. Amin Pakistan, Amin Pakistan anta, am min irana. Are you with me? We don't say anta min Pakistan. No, we say Amin Pakistan anta, am min. Irana. So same way, brother, the khabar of Kana comes in the beginning. Asahlatan. Are you with me? Asahlatan takunul asilatu. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Asahlatan takunul asilatu. Am sabatan. Sabatan. Are you with me? So, brother, where is the ismu takunu? As, al asilatu. Al asilatu. And where is the khabar? Sahalatan and sabatan. Got the idea? Inshallah, you'll observe this and remember it. Huh? So, these two things are separated. Huh? One comes after Hamdrutul Istifam, and the other thing comes after Am. Anastatiu an nan jahabi takdiri mamtazin am la. Will we be able to succeed with the grade of excellence or not? Are you with me? So, what does Asmalan mean then? The first one. The first sentence that you just Easy. Easy. Okay. Sahlun. Sahlatun. Sahlun. Huh? See? Okay, look at it very carefully. Why it is Sahlatan, Sister Naima, and not Sahlan? Hmm? 
Because as ilatu is jama. Kullu jama monas. Okay? So then the khabar of as ilatu has to be monas. I'm glad you asked. Because now everybody can benefit. Are you with me? Why it is sahalatan? Because it is the khabar of as ilatu. What is as ilatu? Su'alun. Singular. What is the plural? As ilatun. So here is a plural. Then the khabar should match. So kullu jama monas. So it became sahalatun. And because it is mansub, so sahalatan. See, when you uh, are learning Arabic or when you read Arabic, your mind is always very alert for all these things that take place. You know? For example, as soon as you come to the sentence, asahilatan, asahilatan taqunul asilatu. So asilatu is your ismu. Takuna. So where will the khabar? Sailatan. And it is monas. Easy. Huh? Remove ta. What is sahilun? We know the meaning of sahilun. Okay? Easy. Got the idea? Sa'abun. Difficult. Opposite of sahilun. Anastatiyu an nanjaha. Bi takdiri mamtazin. Takdiri with single kasra. Okay? Mamtazin. Huh? Bi harf jar. Takdiri isam majru. Wa huwa mudaf. And mamtazin mudafili. Amla. Got it, brothers and sisters? Will we be able to succeed with the grade of excellence? Or? No. Beautiful words are coming, brothers and sisters. Itma'innu. Ya ikhwanu. What is this? Itma'innu. Amar. Huh? Amar. What is the verb? Huh? It. Ma, yes. Itma'anna. Huh? Okay. This is the mazid fihi derived verb of four letter verb. Huh? It's Milan the master, yes. Huh? We did it in the lesson before. Huh? It ma'anna. What will be the mudariya? Let us write it down, brother. Yat ma innu. Now make it amar. It it ma. In. Are you with me, brother and sister? Itma in. Okay, fine. And the master will be it it mea na nun. It mea na nun. Are you with me? It mea na nun. It mea na nun. Okay, brothers and sisters. So, yatma innu, tatma innu, huh? tatma i nani, and then this will be the your antum. Tatma in, tatma innu na. Are you with me? Go to anta. Tatma innu. Tatuma in nani, tatuma in nani, and then tatuma in nuna. Now let us make amar. How will you make amar? Brother Hassan? And you will bring Alif. It ma. In no. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? How will you define it? Fellow Amarin, Mabniun Allah, Azufinun. And where is the file? Alwa. So, can you see? 
इतमा इन नू बी काम बी रेस्ट अशोर्ड या इख्वानु सायकुनु लेम त्यहानु सहलन सी हियर सिस्टर नहीं मा सहलन के एंड नॉट सहलतन व्हाई because imtihan is singular huh? all these things are to be observed huh? okay so yakunu lil imtihanu sahlan translation the imtihan will be easy inshallah okay rajiud durusa what is the meaning of that revise your lessons huh? what is the verb raja you raji u and what is this amar raji u okay antum okay how will you define it fi'lu amrin mabniyun ala hasbinu ha okay tu raji u tu raji ani tu raji una and from tu raji una you will make it raji u okay file is wow adurusa is your mafulun bihi inshallah so that is your amar itma'innu is amar but it is from fi'l rubai mazid fihi ha raji'u is amar from form 3 okay wa ta'awanu amar from form 6 ha ta'awanu okay got the idea brothers and sisters wala tatakasalu what is this takasala to be lazy ha wala tatakasalu and do not be lazy ha so what is this la and nahiya and what is tata tatakasalu brothers and sisters this is fail mudariya majzum are you with me brothers and sisters Am I going fast? No, I'm going very. Yeah? What's the first one? The Amr. Amr. What does it mean? Cooperate with each other. Huh? Cooperate with each other. I, I I only hope you know when we when we do a new lesson, you should read the key, and you should on your own do this conjugation, because we have already done it. That is the reason that. as soon as we finished book 2 we did this remember it was not necessary for us to do it at that time but i knew if we did it it will give you a little push huh it will give you a little edge so if you do your conjugation brothers and sisters then you will be okay otherwise your car will get stuck in a ditch okay conjugation two per day you should still carry on whenever you get a new verb try to conjugate huh and try to find out the meaning so you should be one step ahead of the teacher in your in your uh, study and try to read the key and especially the verbs and try to conjugate then it will become extremely easy for you brother so ta'awanu cooperate with each other ha wala tatakasalu and do not be lazy antum okay fine tatakasalu fi'lun mudari'un majzumun bi alfinun see where is the file alwa fine no masud is saying what is masud saying نحن خايفون يا أستاذ. We are gabrified. Are you with me? I was told, you know, that uh, this gabrified nobody will understand. But I am so used to saying this in the class, just to make you laugh. Huh? The gabrified is from gabrana. Gabrana is to be scared. Okay. Anyway. nanu khaifuna we are scared ya ustad are you with me so what is khaifuna what is the verb of khaifuna khafa ya khafu ha khafa ya khafu ajwaf 
Ajwapalbhavi. Huh? What is the... Uh, uh, what bab is this khafa? Bab samiya. Remember, nama ya namu, it is navima. Khafa ya khafu is khawifa. So it is bab samiya. All these things are important to keep it in mind, brothers and sisters. Kadaina sanata. Kadaina. Kada yakdi. One meaning of kada is to pass. Huh? Kadaina. Sanata, we pass the year. Sanata is your bafulun bihi. Kullaha, what is kullaha? No. What is kullaha, sister Sukhaina? No. Tawkid. What is it? Tawkid. We pass the year. Whole of it. Okay? Fillahwi. Well, laibi. What is the meaning of lahvi? Amusement. Uh, and play. You know, we pass the whole year in, in amusement and pastime. Uh, lahvi means, you know, uh, to amuse yourself by playing cards or, you know, going to uh, amusement park or, and, Laibis, sports, and things like that, brothers and sisters. But it means amusement and pastime. Ya laitana. Now we are going to understand laita in detail this time, but that's so important. Uh, are you with me? Ya laitana. Kash. In Urdu, say kash. Uh, and what is in English? Uh, we, you can say, if only. Yes, you are right. If only. But brother, la, ya has come. What is ya? Harfunida. So where is munada? Now this thing has to be understood. Uh, whenever you see ya with a laita, okay? The laita, what is laita, brother and sisters? Inna. So it will behave exactly like Inna. It will have Ism Laita and it will have Khabar Laita. And what will be the position of Ism Laita? It will be Mansu. Like Inna. Remember that. Huh? It will be Mansu. And Khabar will be Marfu. It is, if it is one verb, word or it can be Jumla. You know the five kinds of Khabar. Inshallah, you will remember that. Now, this is to be noted, brothers and sisters. This is to be noted. Huh? That Ya can come with Laita. So, Ya is Arfunida. And where is Munada? Munada is Mazuf. What is it, sister? Mamuna? Munada is Mazuf. Huh? It comes in the Quran. Ya Laitani. Kuntu Turab. Huh? So, on the Yomul Kayama, the person will say, Ya Laitani. Uh, I, I, if only I were a dust, then I do not have to now face the judgment, you know, for all the things that I, wrong things that I did in the world. So, brother, Ya is there. Uh, where is Munada? Munada is. To be understood that he is saying either to his brothers or to the people around him or to his family. So monada is your ya, ya ahan, you can say, or ya ahlan, you can say. Are you with me? Anybody who is close at that time amongst yourself. Are you with me? So this is what it is, brothers and sisters. As if he is, you know, calling Ya Harfunida, and the person who's calling, he, maybe his brother, maybe his family members, or maybe his friend. So that is Mazuf. You want to write something? Then I will write on the board. Okay, inshallah. Because it's nice if you have a 
good explanation, brothers and sisters. 